Hi, in this video I'll work out a couple of examples for computing a confidence interval for a proportion. We begin with the following problem. It states, to estimate the percentage of fans of the TV show The Mandalorian, a sample of 50 individuals was randomly selected. It was found that 32 of the 50 are fans of the show. Estimate the true proportion using a 90% confidence interval. Step one is to calculate the sample proportion called p hat. That's 32 out of 50.64. We also calculate q hat, which is 1 minus p hat, 1 minus 0 .64, 0 0.36. We look up the z-value using 90%. So 90%, we go down to the z-value, 1.65. And now we're ready to type this information into our calculator. So we type 0.64 minus 1.65 times the square root. I keep everything inside of the square root. I'll use parentheses. 0.64 times 0.36 divided by 50. Hit enter. Round to 0.528. I can then select the equation, hit enter, change the minus to a plus to get 0.752. Now, another way of calculating the confidence interval limits without having to type in an equation is to use the built in function. We click on stat, go to test. And we need to go down past level 9 until we get to A, one proportion Z interval. We hit Enter. We type X. X is 32. We type N. N is 50. And then the confidence level is 90%. So we have to... Modify 0.99 to 0 0.90, and then we hit Calculate. And you can see we get 0 0.528, 0 0.752, same limits. Let's work out another example. The other example says the following. A bookstore committee has decided to estimate the proportion of students who purchases all their books from the bookstore. The committee samples 65 students and determines that 29 of them purchase their books from the bookstore. Compute the confidence interval for the proportion of students who buy their books using 95% confidence level. Well, we have to compute p hat, so we take 29, divide by 65, I'll round to three decimal places, 0.446. Then we compute q hat, so 1 minus 0 0.446, 0 0.554. We look up the z value in table f. We go to 95%, go all the way down, 1.96 is the z value. We're now ready. To perform the computations, so we have 0.446 minus 1.96 times the square root 0.446 times 0.554 divided by 65. Hit enter, 0.325, that's our left limit. Select the equation, change the minus 
2a plus, hit enter, 0.567 is the right limit. Another way of calculating this, we type stat or click on stat, select test, go down to option A, hit enter. Let's go back to our original X value, that's 29. Go down for N, it's 65. And then type in the confidence level, that's 0.95. Finally, select Calculate, and then we can compare our results. Round of three places, 0 0.325, 0 0.567. Thanks for watching this video.